Okay, so um, what we're going to do now in uh, a couple of parts is I'm going to show you how to add a PowerPoint demo to your Moodle course. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use the lesson activity. So this is a little bit complicated. I'd say it's an intermediate activity. and But if you have a lot of materials in PowerPoint, this is something that you're probably going to want to know. Rather than redoing all your materials, you can simply upload them into a lesson and it works fairly well. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is add a lesson. I'm going to give the lesson a name. because that's the name of my PowerPoint. Alright, so um, lessons can be used for a whole lot of different purposes and that's why they have all these different controls. And uh, if you do the reading for this week, you'll be reading about some of these things. However, we are not going to use that, uh, some most of these, for our purposes. We're not, for example, going to have a time limit or a practice lesson we don't really need to alter any of this. However, when we get down here to lesson formatting, I do want this to appear as a slideshow. I'm not going to change the width or height or the background color. However, I do want a left menu and I'll show you why. And you can include a progress bar if you like for the student. You don't have to. Um, I'm not going to put any password access control on this lesson. It's available for anybody who wants to look at it who is in the class. I'm just going to skip down all the rest of this stuff and click on save and display. Alright, so as I said earlier, there's a lot of things you can do with um, lessons, but what we're going to do is we're going to import a PowerPoint. So I'm going to click on this link and I'm going to get a simple upload page. Alright, so now I'm going to switch to my PowerPoint demo. So here's my PowerPoint demo. Now notice first of all that it has no uh, design. It's just a simple plain blank in terms of the design background. It does have graphics in it, um, and that's fine. Um, one thing it has are these bullets, and actually these bullets do not really translate over into PowerPoint, and uh, you might want to take them out, but it's up to you. You can do that later on if you want. All right, so here's the catch. When you save, when you want to make a PowerPoint and take it into a lesson in Moodle, you must save as a web page. And I don't know if you know this or not, but you can save PowerPoint as a web page. It's one of your choices. And I'm going to give this a much shorter name. And I'm going to save it to my desktop just so I can find it. Click Save. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. I'm going to go to my desktop. Now here's my file that I just saved. You notice it's a, actually a folder that it creates when you save it as a web page. I have to zip this folder. If you don't know about zipping, um, there's going to be a link in the page where you can look it up. Alright, so I'm going to right click on here and one of my choices is send to. I'm using Vista which actually comes with a zip utility. And I'm going to click here on compressed zipped folder. Just click and it automatically makes me a folder. You see it right here? Alright, now I'm going back to Moodle. Now what I have to do is I have to upload this file that I just zipped. Now, I'm going to warn you, sometimes this doesn't work the first time. 
and I've had to do it two times. So let's keep our fingers crossed and let me find the file. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to click on it, click open, and then click on upload this file. Keep my fingers crossed. If I see down here a progress happening, I'm usually okay. Alright, so it worked, and uh, I'm taken to the screen, and I click on continue. And what I see here is my PowerPoint demo. On the left, I've got a menu, and you can see most of my videos. Uh, I'm sorry, most of my graphics made it over there. Um, a couple graphics did not make it, like for example, I had um, a picture of Thomas Edison here. So I'm going to show you how to edit this once you've uploaded it. Alright, so uh, when I go on, click on the editing tab, I look down, I'm going to see every single page that I've edited, that I've uploaded, and here's your familiar icons that you should be getting familiar with by now. And as you can see there's little mistakes in here, certain things that didn't quite work out right. So let's edit this one because I want to get that picture of Thomas Edison in there. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take out these things that are wrong. I'm going to take out these little brackets. And uh, now I'm going to use my HTML editor to insert an image. I'm going to do that is I'm going to browse uh, to my computer where I have a picture of Thomas Edison. Click on that, open it, and upload it to my file repository. So I'm going to click here. And of course, I'm going to put in here my alternate text. Click OK, and it pops it right in. Now, I can go all the way down to the bottom and just save the page. And click on the preview. Edison. You can see it's really quite quite nice, looks really nice, and this is a very convenient, easy way for you to get an entire PowerPoint demo into your Moodle course. So I hope you'll give it a try.